Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to password protect your login.php file. Now, why would you want to do this? It's a really good step towards preventing brute force login attacks because it requires a password to access the login page. So hackers, when they do a brute force attack, they will go to your login page, which on WordPress sites is always accessible by going to your, your website name forward slash wp-login.php or wp-admin. There's a bunch of different ways to get there, but it all goes to the same login or wp-login.php page. Once they're there, once the hacker is there, they try to guess your password and username and they try as many guesses as possible, millions, until they get locked out. If there's no lockout mechanism, they'll just keep on trying. And they have automated tools to help them guess the usernames and passwords. So by password protecting that page, they would first have to guess a password to even access the login page. So they'd have to guess a password first, then they get to your login page, and they have to guess a username and a password again. And most hackers are a little bit lazy, so they're not going to do that. And, and most WordPress owners don't have that extra level of security so the hacker is more likely going to go find a different site that doesn't have that kind of security and they'll move on and they'll they'll leave you alone. So that's why we password protect the wp-login.php page or file. And doing that is a little bit advanced. It's it's not for a beginner. You have to go into your hosting account and you have to create a new file in the home directory which I'm going to show you how to do right now and you use a handy dandy online generator to generate an encrypted password for that page. So let's do that right now. So the wp-php.com or phd.com page is hosted with HostGator. HostGator runs on cPanel so you'll see something very similar to this and you, what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find the file manager icon and here it is click on that and you want to go to the home directory and what you want to see is up here where it has this uh, this string or this directory string you want to see home forward slash and your username you don't want to see anything past that and inside this directory we have to make a file called dot wp admin no dash and the dot signifies that it's a hidden file and when you when you put that file in this directory and you add the username and encrypted password which I'll show you how to do that will apply to all of your websites that run on this hosting account so be aware of that this change will apply to all websites running on this hosting account so making a new file is quite easy once you're in here all you do is in the top left click on new file and we give it a name and it's going to be called dot or period wp admin no dashes and we create the new file and if we scroll down we see it right here dot wp admin and if you click on edit to edit that file you'll see that it's blank so now what we want to do is inside this file we want to put a username and an encrypted password in this format username colon encrypted password and we can decide what these are they, they can be it's up to you you want to make them as difficult to guess as possible and then we go to a special website and that special website is htaccesstools.com forward slash wb dash generator and that is actually found down below in the below this video so you don't have to type it out just go below the video click on the link and it'll take you to this page so in this first field we enter the username that we want mine was flower pots and in the password field you want to enter a password you want to make it as secure as possible you can use a password generator you just want to make sure it's it's hard to guess and then it says here create dot wd file don't worry about that name just click on that button and on the next page it will give you the information in a in a dialog box that you can copy out 
So we have here flower pots colon and then this crazy thing, which wasn't the password I entered. It is in fact an encryption of the password I entered. So if we go back to our page editor to edit that .wp admin file, we just paste that code back in and we click on save changes. Now our .wp admin file has a password and a username, which will be used to access the login page. But first there's something else we have to do. What we have to do is update the .ht access file, which is in the same directory. So if we edit this file, we will see that it's also blank. You may have something in here, you may not. I don't in this case. For each separate domain, each if you have add-on domains in your hosting account, they will also have .ht access files. And those probably contain content, mine do for sure. Whereas the generic one that applies to the whole hosting account, in my case, is currently blank. And we're gonna add some special code in there, which I've also pasted below this video. So you don't have to type it out. Just see what I do and then copy and paste it from below the video. So this is the code that you have to paste into the .ht access file. And there's one change you have to make, which is under home or under the auth user file line, there is forward slash home forward slash username forward slash dot WP admin. You want to make sure this username is the actual username in your hosting account. So for my case in the HostGator account, if we go back to my file manager, you see the username in this directory right here. So in my case, it is this username, I'm not gonna say it out loud, and it's currently blurred out, but it's after the home. It's the very next thing after the home directory, then it's your username. So we have to put that in here, otherwise this will not work. It's not gonna crash your site, it'll just make the login page inaccessible. So now we've saved changes. I've been using Firefox to make this video, and there's cookies in place that will that will prevent this from working, for my case, because I'm the admin. So we have to use a different browser, so I'm just gonna boot up Chrome, and then we will go to the wp-login page, and we will see that it requests a password. So here we are on Google Chrome, and if we go to this URL right here, whatever your domain name, whatever your domain name is, forward slash wp-login.php, click on enter, and if everything went well, you will get this authentication required login box. So you wanna put in the information that you put into the .wp admin file, that encrypted password. Don't put the encrypted version, put in the actual password that that website used to generate the encryption. And then if you click on login, it should then take you to the login page. And there it does. And then my last pass just auto signed me in after that. So that is a huge step towards preventing brute force login attacks because if you make it just that much harder for a hacker to get to your login page, they're probably just gonna move on to someone else. So in this video, you learned how to password protect your wp-login.php page to reduce the likelihood of a brute force attack being successful on your website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.